Um, when you started the lawsuit and you started to work on it, did you expect it to take so long to be resolved? Yes, I did. I think everyone did. Uh, we didn't want it to, but we understood the length that these things take. Um, and the issue was, would, would our group last <laughs> through all of this stuff? Um, because there were efforts to turn you against one another. Uh, there were, were efforts to disprove your evidence. And um, so you had that thing. And you had to continue uh, to talk to people, you know, to explain why. Uh, because it was a contention. It was a contentious matter. Uh, but it was clear that people knew they needed something better. Even though this was better than what they had had, uh, there was an appetite for, well, how good can we get? Uh, uh, how, how can I help? And, uh, but, it, but it was not easy. And um, uh, Lord Barbie took um, regular um, attacks. And he was pretty thick-skinned, unless you got him very bad. And then he had the ability to sum you up in about six words, which would sit you down for six months. And so I don't think they really wanted to play with him uh, too much. But he was brilliant, and he was respected. And the situ situation was criti critical, as it is now. Because when you end up being number one, the number one city in segregation in the country, Lord Barbie was a prophet beyond, you know, knowledge. The issue now is how you will pretend that segregation is workable. And if it is not workable, what will you do? Bending on the knees has not done it. I mean, um, education can do it. But we may have to make sure we have the best education. And people have to be able to have some comparisons. If they don't have some comparisons, they don't know what you're talking about. And so that's, that's, so there must be some creative way, thank God for some uh, uh, television, but they must understand that it's possible. Because if you don't understand that it's possible, you, you fall backward. And uh, there's not time for that. During those days, do you have a favorite memory of, of an event or something that happened during the course of the period of your tenure? Well, the worst thing I remember is sitting on my porch and watching the National Guard go by in Jeeps and trucks pointing guns at us. That's the worst thing I remember. As a matter of fact, that really got me much more active than I had been. I, uh, I, I just kind of said, well, I, you know, I, I just couldn't believe it. And um, I realized I'd walked the streets of Chicago where people had guns. Um, but I'd never had uniformed government jeeps and trucks ride up and down a poor little street. And I, I thought that was, uh, obviously that was to restrain the expected uh, tumultuousness of the uh, riot, which uh, Mayor Meyer anticipated. Uh, but it was showing force, and it was showing the militaristic uh, capability and competence uh, when all we wanted um, was just, you know, to be able to move normally and, and advance. And um, though the ministers uh, patrolled the evenings talking to people, the people who were riding were not many, and it was not widespread. Uh, it was more of a, a, a burst of anger, and someone did lose their life, and that is most regrettable. Um, uh, but the situation, I think, resolved itself, covered itself, concealed itself, buried itself, um, and is living uh, to uh, grow again. Have race relations improved since the 60s? <laughs> well, I, um, I, I don't know. It's difficult to discuss race and not discuss economy <clears throat> because I don't care if you like me. I just want to make enough money to feed, clothe, and pay my bills. And so you could be whatever color you wanted to be if I could make sure that I was going to be able to economically 
uh, continue with dignity, with respect, and with the opportunity to express myself uh, in a fashion that could lead to my improvement and my family's improvement. Now, I get along with most races. I don't know any I don't, uh, but I, I, I don't think that's it. I think that all races want to live with some dignity and with the ability to proceed and to be productive and to advance uh, their generations and their children. And so um, I think we've made race an issue that many times economics could smooth. Uh, but if you in your heart don't believe that other people are as equal as you, it is indeed a difficult task. And so I believe that education helps improve that, eases that rub, and that people who have more opportunity have more pleasant and productive thoughts of the future. And if you don't have any, all you know is the mire that you're in, the disgust that you feel for yourself, and the envy that you feel for others that you see. So I think the riot did it the most for me. Is there anything you wanted to say about any, anything else you haven't talked about? No, I talked about a lot. I might, I might forget if I start again. <laughs> I appreciate that very much, and I want to thank you for considering me. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's start with the toughest part. Let me let me straighten this out just a little bit, though, so you don't have wrinkles. 